The word Lent comes from an old English word which means springtime, so it should remind us of spring cleaning and new life. As I look around my house, I see dust and sand, dried salt, the residue of winter. As I look around my soul, I see uncaring, bitterness, anger, the residue of focusing too much on myself. So this Lent is a time to do some spring cleaning in our own lives and in to anticipate the new life of spring as well. The first thing we must do is acknowledge that we are sinners. We have to want to clean up our lives during Lent. We have to want to leave sin behind and grow closer to the Lord. We have to want a change of heart and so become more like him who went into the desert to fast and pray for 40 days. This is the sacrament of reconciliation in a nutshell. Please, especially if it's been more than a year, avail yourself of this incredible fountain of grace. All of these things that you are carrying in your heart that are weighing you down and preventing you from growing in the spiritual life can be lifted when you hear those words, I absolve you of all your sins. In ancient times when people left sin behind and turned over a new leaf, they used ashes to symbolize their repentance. After publicly confessing their sins, they would sit in a cold fire pit wearing an old sack. The prophet Job said, I disown what I have done and repent in dust and ashes. Even Jesus used this analogy in Luke's Gospel when he said, Woe to you, Charizan! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. Since we have all sinned and repent of our sinfulness, in a spirit of repentance, we place ashes on our forehead. Some people ask, what are you doing for Lent? Most important thing you can give up this Lent is sin. Examine your conscience and see that one thing that keeps you from the Lord. If we are serious and wanting to grow closer to God this Lent, then our repentance must be real. It must be a positive act. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are steps we take to show, especially to ourselves, that our commitment to following Jesus Christ is real and not just words. Thus, we are called this Lent to pray more, to deprive ourselves more, to give to others more. Each one of us is in a different situation, but each one of us can do something more, praying the rosary, reading the Bible, attending daily mass, Spending time each day in the silence, speaking to the Lord and listening for the Lord's response. Fasting from things that we like. Being more generous than we normally are. These are all things we can do to make this Lent a springtime into new life. Do not let this holy season pass you by so that on Easter morning you are the same person that you are today. I pray that all of us grow closer to the Lord this Lent so that we can be all about changing our lives and that of our world into the kingdom of love that God has created. God bless.